Drivers and mechanics of heavy-duty vehicles know that front-end accessory drive components may last for quite some time, but eventually do wear and must be replaced to retain proper performance. That includes both serpentine belts and belt tensioners. In this video, we're working on a 2004 Freightliner truck equipped with a Detroit Diesel Series 60 14-liter engine. This truck has over 486,000 miles on it and is due for a look under the hood. Before beginning any work on the engine, make sure you have taken the necessary safety precautions, such as setting the parking brake, removing the keys from the ignition, and disconnecting the vehicle's battery. There are several ways to inspect a tensioner while the engine is running. If you hear any noise coming from the tensioner, it may be a good idea to check the tensioner with the engine shut off. If the serpentine belt is tracking in properly or is off center, this is a sign of bushing wear resulting in tensioner misalignment. Loss of tension, sticking, or notchy movement are also signs of a tensioner that needs to be replaced. You can also test serpentine belt noise with the engine running. Lightly spray the rib side of the belt with water. If the noise gets louder, the belt noise is a squill caused by low belt tension. If you spray the ribs and the noise temporarily goes away, but comes back as the belt dries out, the noise is chirped caused by misalignment, the number one cause of belt noise. Now, to have a closer look at the Detroit Diesel's engines, tensioner, and serpentine belts, first relieve tension on the belt to remove the serpentine belt off the pulleys using a half-inch ratchet. For this job, we did use a long handle ratchet, but a short handle tool should work too. We are also replacing the alternator and air conditioning tensioner. Again, first relieve tension on the belt to remove the serpentine belt off of the pulleys using a half inch ratchet. You can now remove the engine's belts now that tension has been released from both tensioners. With both the fan belt and the alternator AC belt off the pulleys, slide the serpentine belts out of the engine compartment. With the belts removed, check the belts using the Deco awareness gauge for any signs of wear. The gauge is designed to check wear in three different ways, rib profile, rib depth, and cracking. Use the bar on the gauge to check rib depth. EPDM belts lose rubber similar to that of a tire and indicate the belt is worn. Use the crown of the gauge to check side to side movement within the ribs of the belt. If the gauge is moving, it's time to replace the belt. Keep in mind, using anything such as belt dressing to quiet a belt will contaminate and ruin belts made of EPDM. Go ahead and look for cracks, chunks of the belt missing, abrasion, and pilling as these are signs of belt wear on the older neoprene style belts. Now let's remove both tensioners. Remove the fan tensioner by using a 19 millimeter socket. You can remove the AC tensioner by also using a 19 millimeter socket. With the tensioners removed, inspect the parts for any sign of wear. Be on the lookout for any bearing noise as well as metal-to-metal -metal contact between the arm and the spring case, which is a sign of bushing or pivot bushing wear. Lastly, if there are any cracks in the tensioners, or if the tensioner arms or spring case is broke, make sure you replace the tensioner. With the Freightliner's belts and tensioners removed, we want to check for any signs of misalignment within the belt drive system. Use Deco's laser alignment tool, which is available in the Deco belt diagnostic kit, to check for misalignment. When the laser and receiver are connected to different pulleys, Check to see if the laser shines through the word DECO on the receiver. If so, the pulleys are aligned correctly. We went ahead and checked for misalignment on both the fan pulleys and the air conditioning pulleys. With signs of wear, we are replacing the fan tensioner with a DECO 89436 gold label tensioner. We are also replacing the alternator AC tensioner with a DECO 89419 gold label tensioner. Gold label tensioners feature a flat spring and heavy cast casings built to withstand the wear and tear of rugged diesel engines. We are also replacing the truck's serpentine belts with a Deco 5100503 gold label heavy duty serpentine belt for the fan, as well as a Deco 5080560 gold label heavy duty serpentine belt for the alternator and AC. Deco gold label belts are built to withstand the high torque of diesel engines and are engineered with EPDM rubber compounds to resist heat and harsh underhood environments experienced in over the road and off road conditions. Before installing your new Deco tensioners, Clean the mounting surfaces on the engine with a light abrasive sandpaper or abrasive pad. Excessive buildup of oxidation or other foreign material on the engine's tensioner mounting surface may cause an uneven surface for the new tensioner, resulting in misalignment, the number one cause of belt noise. Locate the pinholes on the bracket and position the tensioner into the mounting holes. Now tighten the bolts with your 19 millimeter socket until it is snug. Deco recommends tightening the bolts to 35 foot pounds using a torque wrench. Go ahead and do this for both tensioners before proceeding. 
Now finish installing the serpentine belts and release the tensioners to provide pressure against the belts. After your new belts are installed, reconnect the battery and start the engine. It is important to verify that all belt ribs are aligned properly in the pulley grooves. Having the belt installed one rib off may run for a while, but will lead to belt failure. If satisfactory, run the engine for a few minutes to seat the belt. 